The Rocco railway crane was an absolute highlight in the new items for 2020. And the good news is that it is also available for the Maryland 3 rail system. It's fully digital, and the only disadvantage is that it does not have an MFX decoder, but a DCC decoder. This means that when you want to control this with the central station, the central station 2 or the central station 3, you will have to manually enter this crane into the central station. It's not a big deal and it's done in a few minutes, but it takes a few steps. And in this video, I will show you how to enter it in the central station. So we start with your central station screen and add a new locomotive by clicking on the plus sign. It's already preloaded for DCC, which is exactly what we want. And also address number three, which is the standard address. And we'll leave it at that. And then we'll add 24 for the number of functions. The picture, we're gonna cheat here because it would take a whole new video to show you how to enter the correct picture. We're just gonna look in the database of the available pictures. And of course, the Roco crane will not be in there, but I'm just gonna grab this crane for now and click on OK. And that's gonna give me at least a picture of a yellow crane. And then we can give it a name and you can give it any name that you want to, but I will go capital. And I'm, oops, I gotta backspace and take the old line out. So I'm gonna delete the old name, the DCC log three. And now I'm gonna call it EDK space. And let's hit the number keys, 750 space. And go back to the letter and I need to get a capital C and a small caps to R A N E. I can still spell. Hit the check mark, and now we named it EDK 750 Crane. Again, you can name it whatever you would like. This essentially sets up the crane, and now you can control it. So I'll pull it over to the left side, and open this up to see the functions. Now you'll see that all the functions are simply numbered F1 through F23. And they, you can check here real quick and hit F1 to see if the sound comes on for your crane and if that works. Now what we need to do is get the icons for all these functions. So we click back on the edit and we're gonna edit logos. And obviously we're gonna click on the EDK 750 crane because that's the one we want to edit. Hit the setup tab. And now you can see that the icons on the left-hand side have dashed lines around them. And that means we can assign icons to them. Now I'm gonna grab icons uh, that I think are suitable. Obviously you can look around and find perhaps better icons or icons that make more sense to you and um, change, change the icons. I'll leave everything for now at switching function and let's see, the F2, what does that do? Um, I have the instruction booklet open as well. And that's um, a mechanical switch be between turning the crane or driving the crane. And so I'm just gonna use this one here, the shuttle. Again, if that function is on, then the crane will turn. And if the function is off, the train will move back and forth with your speed control knob. F3 is uh, raising the hook. So I'm gonna use the small hook for that. F4 would retract the boom. Let's see if we have something that would make sense. Um, this arrow, they call it crane left, but to me that makes sense that that would retract the boom. So I'm gonna pick that one. And then for F5, that's extend the boom. So I'm gonna take the other arrow. Uh, F6 would be lowering the crane hook. So let's click on F6. 
and I had to restart the recording so you'll see CV plus, but it would just say F6. And I'm gonna grab the big hook. And that makes sense for me that that would mean that the hook is coming down. Then we can switch to F7 and F7 would lower the boom. So I'm gonna hit crane down for that one. F8 would lift the boom, so that's easy. I'm gonna grab crane up. F9 would be half speed. And that's my favorite turtle mode. So we're still in the mechanic tab for icons and I'm gonna hit the turtle for it. F10, work lights. So I'll switch to lights and oh, I gotta click on F10. And I'm gonna grab this icon because it's the spotlights on the crane that shine down. I think that's gonna be a good one for it. F11 is switch off the rear lights. So I'll use that rear light icon. F12 would be the short horn. Let's scroll down and see what we have for horn. There's horn short, so I'm gonna grab it. F12 is, um, oh, that's F12. Never mind, I messed that up. So F11 is rear light and click on F12. And I'm gonna make that horn short. There we go. F13 would be continuous horn. So that's an easy one, click that one. F14, mute key. For that one, um, I don't see it here. So click on the Sound 2 tab. Hmm. Lots of icons, but no mute. So I'll try the Mechanic tab. And Coupler, Spanto. No kidding, there it is, mute fade. Some German logic, put it under mechanic, not under sound. So that's a good one for the F14. And F15, very short horn. Well, wait a second, we already had a short horn. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna move things around a little bit. I'll call this the short. And already had a short here, so I'll make that a not so short. And now we'll go to F16. It's gonna be compressor. So sound function, scroll up. There it is, air compressor. F17, switch ratchets. That will only work with F1 and while you're driving. So I think what they mean is the noise crawling over the track. So I'll switch to uh, tab number one and simply use the rail joints sound icon, which is all the way towards the top. There it is on the left, rail joints. Good enough for now. Okay, F18, travel in working position. Hmm. I think uh, activate train, that icon. Looks good to me for that one. And F19, travel in transport position. And the icon right next to it is a good one for me. And then F20 is the end position shutdown. And I'm gonna pick the security tab. Or icon, I should say. Good, now we're done and you can see the only thing I need to do is clean up F21 through F23 and make those blank icons. But now we can control the train and we have all our icons in place. Then you can click on them and test them. And then what you can do is you can start fine tuning these for example, the horns, we made it a switch function on and off, but it really should be a momentary function. So that when you click it, it doesn't stay yellow, but it only stays yellow momentarily. So in order to do that, we'll go ahead and go back, click on the red bottom tab and edit our locomotive again. So we click on edit. We select 
our crane. And then we need to go to the setup tab right here, click. And now you can click on the icon that you want to change. For example, this horn. And it was set as a switching function, but we make it a momentary function. Compare that with pushing a doorbell instead of switching a light switch, switching them to momentary. You can do the same for other functions on the crane. For example, the boom, the arm going up. You can see now it is a switching function. The moment I click it once, it stays on and the boom will continue to move. And if you feel you prefer to have that as switching momentary function, we can change it by again clicking on edit, edit locos. And then I click on the crane. And then I go to the setup tab and I click on the arm moving up and I can change that from switching function to momentary function. So the, the arm will only go up as long as you keep that icon, that button pushed. And we can do the same for the arm going down, S make it from a switching function to a momentary function. Again, this is up to your personal preferences and you can fine tune and change it at any time. Get out of the edit mode. And now if we would click on arm going down, for example, you can see it will only work for as long as I keep it clicked. These three icons, the F was a 23, 22 and 21. You can blank by again hitting edit locos, clicking on the crane and then go to those icons and hit the setup tab and now you can click on them and initially they'll say uh, F21 and you select the function less, the blank icon. So if I had something here, I simply click on the top left function less and I do the same for 22 and 23. And that kind of cleans up the icons that are not in use. Click OK and then get out of the edit mode. Oops, sorry. I can also change the address here. Let me show that real quick. And if I want to number it, for example, 75, I just hit the check mark. And now the address is set at 75. Click OK. And we're done. Get out of the edit mode. Close this tab. And your crane is ready to operate. And let me go ahead and turn this function off. What you would do is turn the sound on. And then the function you use often together with the speed control is this one right here. When it's highlighted, the crane will rotate. And the speed of rotation you can control with your speed control. When you click that off, you can use the speed control knob to make the train move, the crane move forward and backwards. Now it's your turn, grab your central station and program this crane. Have fun. See you next time. Bye.